<laughs> Again, I want to thank uh, you know, everybody who came out tonight with the blackout. I thought the atmosphere was, was awesome. It was electric. Uh, third down was really loud. Uh, you know, a couple a couple drives there in the uh, third quarter. I thought you know, the crowd really played into it. Uh, we get them this field goal, a couple three and outs, and, uh, and that, that I thought was really important to play with in the third quarter. The crowd was awesome all night, and I uh, really appreciate Buckeye Nation their support. Any questions? Over here to the right, Jared. Ryan, what did you say was the biggest change from the first quarter to the second? Well, uh, we got off schedule a little bit. We knew it was going to be hard uh, to run against these guys. It always is. Uh, but on third down, we didn't do a great job, uh, you know, for a couple different reasons. Uh, and then and then we hit a third down in the second quarter, big third down conversion. I think it was to KJ. And then we got to work. And then we kind of go. And, and I think maybe we warmed down a little bit more in the second second quarter. Um, you know, I didn't want to play too fast and, and, and keep, keep our defense on the field at points during the game, but then there were other times we picked up the pace and we ended up getting 74 plays, and, and that's a good day for us. And I think when we can play with depth and we play 74 plays, you can maybe wear some teams down. And I think, I think we did that at times, um, but, but they're stout in there. It's hard to run, and, and uh, so it was hard early. We knew that was going to happen, though. Um, but we did face adversity, and that was not a good, happen, good, good uh, quarter of football on offense. And, and, uh, but again, when you're playing against a team like Michigan State, things like that are going to happen. You have to respond, and I thought we did. Over to the left, far left, uh, Bill. Are you glad in the way that you did really have a legitimate test tonight that you're not going in the second half of the season without having been tested? I, I feel like we just beat uh, top 25 team at home in a great atmosphere uh, against a really well-coached team, a really good defense, a really good quarterback. Uh, we had to play 60 minutes of football. To hold them to 285 and, and to have 529, um, you know that that's a good day. And I, and I think the best part about that is, you know, we all kind of got off the field feeling like uh, we can't wait to get on the film and figure out where we can improve. Over here to the right, play, uh, Coach uh, J.K. Dobbins, uh, 826 yards through the season right now. Um, how impressive was the 67-yard touchdown from your vantage point? And have you seen a transformation in his speed from last to this? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I mean, that was a home run hit right there that I think really changed the game. Um, you know, up to that point, we started to get it going a little bit, but that kind of shifted and, and turned it, I think, almost to a 300 point, I mean, excuse me, a 300 yard quarter. Yeah. And uh, anytime you can hit home runs like that in a run game, boy, it's a huge one. But again, to me, you know, it's one thing to go, you know, a 20 yard game, but to come up the back end, and, and that was at 60 something yards. Yeah, 67 yards, that, that's a game changer. And, and to your point, uh, you know, there were times in the past where maybe he'd get a little tired when he gets to like that 40 yard range. He came out the back end of that thing, and that was really good to see. So that fell speed? Uh, for sure. Over to the left, Steven. Coach, you got a quarterback who just threw his first interception as a college football player. Is there much of a conversation with him when he comes over to the sideline about what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the conversation was I told him it was my fault. Uh, the, the look was not the one that we wanted in that, in that look. Uh, and, and the thing I told him is I'm not always going to be right. You got to make me right sometimes. And, Look isn't right. You got to throw that ball in the stands. We got to let him see another down. Uh, but that's my fault. That's not his fault. Um, that was not the look we wanted on that play. And uh, and so I'll take the blame for that one. Over here to the right, Austin. Ryan, how much more do you learn about Justin in games where it's not all uh, perfect the way maybe it was or seemed to be the first five weeks? That's what I've been really looking forward to see how he's going to respond because early on and there was some mistakes made. That was not a good quarter of football. But that was good. It was hard. You know, kind of guys digging at each other, grinding and kind of yelling at each other and said, we got to figure this thing out, and then we did. And, and that was uh, one of those boxes you check off. Over to the left, Doug. Ryan, before the season, you had kind of talked about this six-game chunk before the first five. It almost felt like you maybe thought it would be almost a learning experience before you guys could sort of reset. You're 6 and 0 the way you're playing. How's it going? Well, I think that the chemistry of the, uh, the team is um, – very good. I think the leadership is strong. I think that uh, we're playing tough. I think that we can learn a ton from this game, though. And I think that this is a perfect opportunity to sit back and look at these six games, evaluate where we've gone, where we are, and where we're headed. Uh, but but this, this, was, this was the perfect game to kind of do that. And, um, uh, you know, again, you're going against a really good defense, with really good players, and a really good quarterback. And, and so, you know, they exposed some things that maybe we got away with in, in the last couple of games. And so uh, that the best thing to do is now get on the film and, and, and work on it and get better. Over here to the right, Tim. Yeah, Ryan, a couple of quickies. Number one, uh, 
what is it to specifically they were getting done up front defensively that uh, gave y'all problems? And number two, how satisfying is it at this point to have almost an answer for anything a team brings at you from a big play standpoint if you follow my draft? Well, they do a lot of things. They always have, when I say always, I mean, the majority of the time they have an extra guy in the box. Whether you, 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 you're playing 11 personnel, 12 person, they always have another guy. That's why they've been so good at run defense over the years. It's, it's very hard to run the ball against them. Um, and you, you got to wear them down. You have to wear them down. And uh, you got to cover them up. The running backs have to turn four yard runs into six. And, and, then, and then eventually over time, if you can start to run on them, you can maybe start to crack some. Um, and, and that's kind of what happened. But uh, the key to that is some of those play action passes. Those kind of got us going a little bit. The big one to Ben was huge. And, uh, and I think that's some of those ones that we hit on the outside. You know, as we were going with tempo, I thought really helped us get into a rhythm. Um, so, uh, you know, again, I, I thought we responded well, made some adjustments, and went from there. Far left, Ari? Hey, Ryan. Uh, Dana Arnett didn't play in the second half. Do you have an update on what happened with him? Uh, no, the, the, uh, the staff, uh, you know, kind of got him out of there. And so uh, he's going to be fine, but, but they're going to evaluate him tonight. Uh, also, with uh, the way that Justin came out, it kind of seemed like it was a little bit easy for him at times this year with his talent level. Um, coming out for the first two drives and you know, maybe sensing that first bit of, oh no, of his young career, how did he handle that? Have you guys been preparing for that moment? And what was your you know, thought process for the way that he handled that? Yeah, I mean, those, drive, those drives weren't good. We didn't do a good job on third down. and. Um, you know, it, it wasn't just Justin, though. It was, it was everybody up you know, front. And, uh, you know, some guys on the perimeter not doing a great job. We, uh, we were kind of just moping around a little bit early on. And, uh, but as the leader of the offense, you're in charge, so you're ultimately responsible for it, and we got to get it right. And the same thing with me, you know, or the coaches. You know, we, we're, we, we're going to take ownership of this, too, and figure the problems out. And, uh, but that's what playing against a team like Michigan State in the Big Ten, a conference game like this, uh, is. It's just hard. It's a grind. It's gritty. And, uh, and, I, and it was great to see the guys respond, especially in the second quarter. Folks, well, we're going to only have time for a couple more because I've got players out here and I don't want to lose them. Front row right here, Nathan. Uh, what went into the decision to right tackle tonight? And also, what did you like about the way the offensive line, how they played this game and all? Yeah, I want to see, you know, when we get on the film, what it really looked like. But to me, it looked like they, they were just, they were they were fighting in there. And those guys are good. I mean, up front, they're as good as, you know, we'll play. And it was a fight. It's not going to be always clean. You're just going to knock guys down, you know, 15 yards in the backfield and finish guys down the field against the defense like this. So I thought it was tough. I thought it was, it was real hard. And I thought the other part is that was the first time we had to get the game in the second half. And, you know, uh, you can see guys you know, working through that. And I know, you know, both sides of the, of the ball felt the fatigue. But, but I thought we fought through it and showed some toughness. Um, and then the right tackle, you know, we're, we're rolling those guys. You know, I think they both uh, deserve to play in there. Uh, back row right, uh, hey, Ryan, I know you, when we talked this summer, you felt his defense would play good football. What do you like best about what you've seen from these guys six games in the season? Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. I, I thought uh, going into the game, our tackling and running the ball in pursuit was, was really good. Uh, I don't know if that was the case tonight. Uh, I think there was some tackling uh, you know, issues at points, but uh, we'll watch the film and kind of work through that again. 65 plays, 285 yards. <clears throat> That's a pretty good night. And, uh, you know, proud of the way those guys play. Proud of the emotion that they play with. Uh, I think we're getting after the quarterback. We're playing, you know, really good coverage. You, know, you can see guys, especially on third down, really locked in on the coverages. Um, so I think they've been playing tough and playing with emotion. I thought that the, to get the stop and then the missed field goal, uh, you know, to start off the third quarter was really important to dig in right there, especially after they got it for a couple of first downs. Uh, that was that was Chris with that question. We're going to go Bill, Rob, and then Tony. And then we're going to end. Go ahead, Bill. Run. Um, we've, we've seen in the past here, and in other places too, of these type of quarterbacks that if, if the offense is slow going or things aren't going great, if you start running the quarterback a little bit, things might loosen up some. How, how much are you still having the conversation in your head about how much you want to expose Justin and, and design quarterback runs? Uh, every second of my my night, you know, that's that's constant, um, and we call some when we need them. And when he, when he needed to, he did a good job with his feet. He had 84 yards rushing. I mean, you know, those were big yards. And uh, the impact they can have is huge, as you can see. That kind of kept us going when, when it was getting, it was tough sled in there. And he's a competitive guy. He, he made a lot of plays. And, uh, you know, hats off to him and his toughness. You know, get a little shoulder in there. And, you know, the goal line run, that was a hard run. There wasn't much there. And, uh, you know, give him a lot of credit. Front row left, Rob. 
Yeah, every game's a chess match. Nebraska ran the wishbone. You get a wrinkle every time. Did Michigan State do anything different that uh, you guys had to adjust to? Seems like every team does that. Uh, no, no, they they run the same defense they have. I mean, uh, you know, they were they were blitzing, uh, you know, more than maybe they had coming into the game, but it wasn't anything that we hadn't seen before. And six games in, how are you adjusting? We talked about the players. How do you feel about the play call and where you have kind of evolved here? Uh, hard to say. It's it's not just me. It's it's the whole uh, staff and the whole offense. You know, I think we're all in the thing in this journey together, trying to figure this out. And, I think our in-game adjustments and communication has uh, really been pretty solid this year. And you know, Stud and Kevin talking about the run game, and, and then you know, Mike, you know, and I kind of in her line talking about uh, the pass game, what we like in between series, and they're doing a great job because I'll click over and get over the defense a little bit to make sure I'm, I'm in tune with what's going on there and special teams, and then I'll click over and, and get some real good feedback on what they like coming in. It's a nice series, and that's really important. It helps me as I'm going back and forth. You just feel a lot more comfortable than you did game one? Yeah. And final questions, uh, back row left, Tony. Ryan, you've been preaching toughness since you took over. This was a tough game. I'm just wondering, New York, your assessment of that area immediately after the game. I thought, you know, to, to beat a team like this, you have to play tough. And we talked about going into the game, um, and, and I thought we did. And, and to finish off these six games tough. Um, but we, we gave the game all the, to, to Coach Mack because he's the guy that um, this whole thing is built upon. He's the backbone and he's the blood that, that runs through this whole program. And, and you know, to say we're tough, it's, it's because of him and his strength, strength staff and all the work that they put in with these guys. And then our coaching staff obviously getting on the field and doing the same thing in the meeting room. And uh, it's everybody involved and, and we're, all, we're all into this thing. And I think they're taking a lot of pride in being tough. Coach, thank you very much.